Hey everyone, Dan Central here. Welcome to part 23 of my Let's Play Super Mario World playthrough. Well, just over a week it's taken me, and this is now the last official part of me completing the game. Um, I will be doing a few more parts, as I've said, um, on Star World. I was going to call them extra videos in the title kind of thing, but I thought I may as well just continue calling them parts 24, 25, 26. Um, as you can see, I created another entrance to Star World, and that's the last entrance. I've now I've now found all five entrances to Star World, because that's one of the um, tasks in this game, to find all five, and I found all five. Um, I could list them all for you, but you probably won't remember where I'm talking about, but I have found all five, and in the extra videos, I'll, I'll go through all of them, and you'll see um, where they're all located, and I've done them all, so it's all good. Okay, so we'll start with the last sort of mini castle. Now, this level is not going to be easy, of course, especially when it's the last sort of mini castle before Bowser's Castle. But it's alright, we'll get there. Now rather than having to jump on them bricks and possibly risk um, falling off them, you can always just do that. Just let, let the thing you're on take you up. I just can't believe that it only took me over a week to um, complete this game. Well, I know I haven't officially completed it yet, but hopefully will have done by the end of this video. Um, and that I stuck with it. As I tell you, there are times where I seriously considered um, just abandoning the, the Let's Play because it just got really, really, really bad at times. I couldn't do certain levels. Um, I tried like 30 times um, the level in the last part, being a good example, and just couldn't do it. Um, but I wasn't going to be defeated, and I stuck with it, and I've managed to get there. And I think a lot of the support that um, a lot of you guys have given me as well throughout this playthrough has really helped me stick with it and spurred me on to complete it. So thank you very much for all your comments and everything. It's fantastic. Now these wizards were in a previous castle a while ago, and I hated them then. So, I'm not very happy to see them again. And the idea is you wait for one and it... There we go. I want to try and be as quick as I can before a wizard appears again. Whoa. Whoa. No. So I'm going to be there. Oh, we're there. You don't get a lot of time in this um, cast, I've noticed, either. It's really bad. But, considering the boss is so easy, not a problem. Okay. And we've now done every single mini castle in the entire game. Yeah, that, all that's left is Bowser's castle. Well, let's hope so. I'm really excited. This is the last thing to do, the last level. And then complete the game. I've, I've, I don't know how I've done it and managed to keep up with it and stick at it, but I've done it. Okay, so, the way this is laid out, there's four levels to choose from. 
I've got one, two, three, and four. Now I'm going to choose number two, I think. Ah, not bad. One of the cage ones where you can go through. Whoops, press the wrong button. Oh, I can't remember which button it is, not going to waste time. But you can basically go on the other side of the cage. That was easy. And then, yeah, there's four more levels then to choose from. Five, six, seven, and eight. And I think I'll choose seven. You guys can check out all the others as well, if you like. At some point. Whoa, it's alive. That's amazing. It's the first time I've ever seen one of them come alive. That's awesome. I'm not going to jump on top of it in case it... I die from it. I don't think I'd done that level before actually, so that's pretty cool that they were alive. I've never seen that before. Okay, now these things, make sure if you're going to pick them up, that you don't hold them for long because they will come alive in your hands. Because you don't kill them when you, st when you stamp on them. You just knock them out for a bit, but they will come to life again and if you're holding it at the time, you will die. Make sure if you're going to pick one up, that you do drop it quick. Okay, and here we are everyone, the final battle with Bowser. Finally made it. 23 parts, and I finally made it. Now for the final boss, he actually isn't really that hard, really. It's pretty straightforward as well. He throws creatures out and you just have to throw them up and hit them on the head with them. But it does get harder. I like the fact that the face on his um, sort of hover thing that he sits in changes as well. Princess Peach to help us out with the mushroom. Thank you, I needed that. Now it does get a bit harder here because whereas to start with he was moving left and right, now he hovers above you and follows you so it's hard for you to throw the creatures up on, onto him. And he also throws bowling balls out. I'll tell you what though, I want to know, how does he fit a bowling ball in there and Princess Peach? Oh well. Okay, now he hovers above you and it gets really, really difficult. Having said that, that wasn't bad. Mm. Doing well, doing well, guys. Again, avoid the fire, which can actually catch you by surprise. That's yes, alright, there we go. That will go in our inventory. Great stuff. Now he gets really angry. The more you hit him, the more angry he gets. So he's really going for it now. But at least he's going left and right again. I really thought I was going to die then. Please don't die. Please don't die. Come on, Mario. We can do this. We can do this. Oh, and we did it. Wow. We did it. I really thought I was going to die then.
absolutely fantastic. Such a good feeling because obviously you you know you feel great when you complete a game, but knowing that I completed this game with all you guys watching makes it even better. All the Yoshis have babies. I don't think it's fair though because Green Yoshi's only got one baby. Thank you so much to everyone that's watched the whole series and that's kept up with it. I'll talk to some of you very soon.